I am Dev Janine. Welcome to my channel. In this episode, we will learn U.S. double crochet, U.K. treble. It is very important to know that there is a difference in the terms in the U.S. and U.K. Although the techniques are same, the same stitch in U.S. it is called double crochet, and in U.K. it is called treble crochet. For the beginners, I will suggest this type of thick yarn. It is much thicker yarn I have taken this 4 ply knitting yarn and a 4 millimeter needle crochet hook for double crochet and I have created already my slip knot and I am going to make a chain of 12 which will be our foundation chain 3 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. This is our foundation chain. Now, we never count the chain on our hook, this one. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and this way. This is our chain 1, chain 2, chain 3, chain 4. If you have any difficulty in making slip knot and chain, please go back to my first video. Now I am showing you how to do double crochet, yarn over, put your finger on the yarn and for double crochet insert your hook to the 4th chain from hook 1, 2, 3 and 4. Insert your hook into the 4th chain from hook, yarn over, you will have 3 loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over, pull through the last two loops. Again, yarn over. Insert your hook into the next chain. Yarn over. You will have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over, pull through the last two loops. Again, insert your hook into the next chain pull through you will have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through the first two loops yarn over pull through the last two loops go on making in the same way to the end of this row i am showing you very slowly yarn over put your finger on the yarn it will be easier for you to walk now insert your hook into the chain pull through you will have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through the first two loops yarn over pull through the last two loops now go on making to the end of this row pull through the first two loops pull through the last two loops again insert your hook yarn over pull through the first two loops pull through the last two loops insert your hook into the chain you will have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through the first two loops yarn over pull through the last two loops this is the last chain we will work yarn over pull through the first two loops yarn over pull through the last two loops now we have finished our first row of double crochet now count your stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 
सो नाउ यू मस्ट काउंट योर स्टिच आफ्टर फिनिशिंग ईच रो नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट आवर सेकेंड रो बिफोर गोइंग सेकेंड रो वी विल हैव टू डू टर्निंग चेन टर्निंग चेन फॉर डबल क्रोशे इज चेन थ्री टू थ्री नाउ टर्न योर वर्क this turn turning chain we always have to do turning chain before going to the next row in all the stitches so this turning chain is nothing but to get the height of the stitch for double crochet it is chain 3 for half double crochet it is chain 2 and for single crochet it is chain 1 so now yarn over we will first in the second row from the second row we will skip our first stitch which is at the base of the turning chain this one we will skip that and go on to the next chain second chain we will start from the second chain now yarn over pull through first two loops yarn over pull through the last two loops again insert your hook yarn over pull through the first two loops yarn over pull through the last two loops again insert your hook Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over, pull through the last two loops. Another thing, you can see this chains look like letter V. While working, you must pinch your finger here so that it will be easier for you. It will stop you making your chains too tight. In this way, put your finger here and pinch your finger here where the V ends. this one and now insert your hook yarn over pull through the first two loops yarn over pull through the last two loops again pinch your finger yarn over pull through the first two loops yarn over pull through the last two loops again insert your hook yarn over pull through the first two loops pull through the last two loops insert your hook pull through the first two loops pull through the last two loops now we will count our stitches 1 this is 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 top of the on the top of the turning chain the stitch is hidden here this one will be our last stitch this one now we have finished our second row of double crochet again before going to the third row we have to do our turning chain chain 3 in this way now simply turn your work skip this first stitch and start from the second stitch yarn over pull through pull through the first two loops pull through the last two loops again yarn over insert your hook pull through the first two loops pull through the last two loops insert your hook yarn over pull through the first two loops pull through the last two loops in this way go on making till the end of the row now sometimes you can make mistakes and i am going to show you in that case what you will do it is not a big thing first you remove just remove your hook now pull off your yarn as much as you need and you can see you will be left with this loop now again insert your hook into the loop and start again doing the same manner and this way yarn over pinch your finger here insert your hook 
you know verb pull through the first two loops you know verb pull through the last two loops now this is our third row and i am going to continue a few more rows so that you can see how it looks like and after that i'll be coming back i have finished a few more rows this is 1 2 3 4 5 rows and now i am going to finish the row last row here is the last stitch now i have finished my last row you can see how it looks like the small swatch this is our double crochet swatch and now i am going to tie off my work and i am showing you how to tie off you know what pull through the loop keep a long tail and now cut off your yarn and pull off the yarn now what you have to do take a tapestry needle this is a tapestry needle yarn into this put your yarn into this needle now what we will do this is our back front side and this is our back side simply you weave into the bevel weave into the weave to the work in this way don't pull it too much in this way we will hide the yarn now cut off the excess yarn now do the same to the opposite side this one exactly in the same manner don't pull it too much they are is small now cut off the excess yarn and now this is the front side this is our double crochet swatch you have to practice this stitch over and over until you are comfortable thank you for watching